Hi, welcome to my uh, channel Geography with Narendranath. I am Dr. Narendranath from Chaitanya College, Janjgi Champa, Chhattisgarh. Today, talk about a uh, very interesting uh, topic. Uh, there are the uh, flying geyser, uh, also known as uh, flying range geyser, is a small geothermal geyser. Must you will watch my complete video and watching my video, must you will share if. Uh, if a, um, you are new, uh, uh, must you will subscribe my channel and uh, bell icon. And uh, today talk about the very interesting, uh, there are the fly glacier also known as fly range glacier is a small geothermal glacier located on a free wetland uh, in Vassar uh, County, Nevada. About 20 miles, uh, approx 32 km north of Garlitch. There are the fly glacier is located near the edge of uh, fly reservoir in the uh, Valley of a geothermal flats uh, and it is approximately 5 feet, approx 1.5 meter high uh, by the uh, 12 feet uh, wide and country uh, there are the mount on uh, which is side. The source of fly uh, geyser felt heat is attributed to a very deep a pool of uh, hot and rock and where tectonic rift and faulting are common and the first uh, geyser at this site was formed in 1916 when a well was uh, drilled and seeking irrigation water when geothermal water at close to boiling point was found the uh, well was abandoned uh, and uh, 10 to 12 feet uh, approx and uh, there are the calcium carbonate cone uh, basically and uh, the fly uh, range property is uh, located in Nevada uh, well of a geothermal uh, basically located United States uh, the girl is Nevada uh, and the, there are the two uh, geyser on the uh, property and uh, an area uh, known for the unique geothermal pools the first was created more than 100 years ago and during an effort to uh, make the desert uh, unusable for farming and while the drilling a well worker hit geothermal water that was about 200 degrees and because the water was not suitable for agriculture use and this geyser was left alone a to uh, 10 to 12 foot and the cal Calcium carbonate can formed as a result of the water minerals content. In 1964, a geothermal energy company drilled a test well at the same site and they struck the same water which was not uh, but not hot enough for their purpose. The well was uh, supposedly there at the sophisticated and uh, prospectly the cave did not uh, hold a new large geyser emerged a few hundred feet uh, north of the original uh, rivet on this water pressure and uh, then this second uh, geyser uh, known now the fly geyser uh, has grown as the minerals from the water and have been deposited on the desert surface and it it has multiple cone and shape to opening that uh, measure up to six feet tall and side of the tall mount and because there are the many multiple users as a spot the user has uh, not created a cone as large as the first but uh, instead the every going line the looking the mount and uh, the food water up for the five feet in the yard the geyser is covered with mineral deposit and the thermo uh, uh, algae and who is the precise in the most and what environment. The combination has led the multi uh, multiple yeah. use of the green and red and, and the added the outside with a, a wild uh, appearance. In the June 2016, the non-profit the burning man project uh, purchased the fly ranches properties for the 6.5 million and their mass mission is to protect uh, and uh, restore the habits uh, found uh, within the 3080 800 uh, area properties 
um, these are the include uh, wetlands uh, natural uh, springs the the, the sagebrush and the grasslands and flower in may 2018 they are opened the trench uh, to the public for the first time in the two decades and you know uh, there are the very interesting the geyser can be seen uh, from the state routes 34 north of the town garlage and driving the visit are not permanent uh, but the friends of black rock high rock and hosted weekly nature walls to property for april to october the best time for visit this place and this nature work and the device free and the visitors are not permitted to take the photo during the walk at the end of the walk uh, you will uh, we have time to get our uh, your camera and snap from photo and there are uh, different uh, geological uh, condition and there are the disaster area and uh, you know on the geyser uh, is very interesting in our earth uh, history and in our geological history must we really know about uh, geyser magma hit uh, nearby rocks and underground aquifer hot water can be released through geyser hot spring steam vent uh, underwater hydrothermal vent and mud pots these are the all source of the geothermal energy their heat can be captured and used directly for heat or their steam can be used to uh, generate electricity and uh, definitely what is the source of geothermal energy uh, there are the basically geothermal energy is uh, heat uh, within the earth and the word geothermal comes from the uh, greek word geo means earth and thermal means uh, heat basically geothermal energy uh, is a renewable energy a source because heat is continuously produced uh, inside the earth and people use uh, geothermal heat for bathing to heat uh, building and to uh, generate electricity how geothermal energy work uh, there is a natural source of power found uh, below the surface of the earth uh, that has been around uh, for uh, centuries uh, there are underground uh, for viloas they are a full of water heat by magma and this full of water make up our geothermal reservoir and harnessing the power of earth temperature to power and heat of cool our home and businesses in the sense of geothermal power and there are currently geothermal plant is over 80 countries according to the geothermal energy association and although the united states and the, currently the global leader of the geothermal power and other country like the indonesia turkey and kenya are also process the expanding their power capabilities and this capacity as well the first geothermal plant uh, in the united states was built by uh, the pacific gas and uh, electric in 1960 at an area called the glazer located in the uh, macams mountain the north san francisco california is the world is in the largest geothermal field and the several um, there are the 22 geothermal power plants and uh, the geyser complex and uh, this type of models uh, they are used and the geothermal uh, power uh, does not require the burning of uh, any fossil fuel the hot water or stream used uh, return to the ground after this used where it can be used again and who is makes in the renewable energy source as well and uh, first of all geothermal power plants uh, the dry stream power plant and there are the three main types uh, there are the geothermal energy plant at the generate power in the slightly uh, different way the dry stream plant uh, are the most common type of um, geothermal power plants according to about half of the installed the geothermal plants and they work by uh, peeping hot stream and form the underground uh, reservoir directly into uh, turbine from geothermal reservoir which power the generation uh, to provide the electricity and after um, powering uh, the turbine the stream condenses into water and it is piped back into the earth via the injection well 
एंड नेक्स्ट द फ्लैश स्टीम पावर प्लांट बेसिकली फ्लैश स्टीम पावर प्लांट डिफियर फ्रॉम ड्राई स्टीम बिकॉज द पम्प हॉट वाटर रेदर देन स्ट्रीम एंड डायरेक्टली टू द सर्फेस एंड दिस फ्लैश स्ट्रीम प्लांट पम्प हॉट वाटर एट द हाई प्रेशर फॉर्म बिलीव द अर्थ इन टू ए फ्लैश टैंक ऑन द सर्फेस द फ्लैश टैंक इज ए मच लोअर टेम्परेचर कॉजिंग दैट फ्लोइड टू क्विकली फ्लैश इन टू स्ट्रीम द स्ट्रीम प्रोड्यूस द फ्लावर द टर्बाइन द स्ट्रीम इज कोल्ड एंड कंडेंस इन टू वाटर वॉट इट इज द पाम ब्लैक इन टू द ग्राउंड टू इंजेक्ट वेल एंड देर आर द बाइनरी साइकिल पावर प्लांट दिस इन दिस बाइनरी साइकिल बेसिकली प्लांट द मेन डिफरेंट्स इन दैट वाटर व स्ट्रीम फॉर्म बिलो the earth never come of the direct contact with this uh, turbine inside water from geothermal reservoir in the pumping through a uh, heat exchanger where it is the heat second liquids uh, like isobaric and time of the sometimes and uh, this second uh, liquids uh, is heated into stream and who is power in the turbine that uh, derive the generator the hot water from the earth is uh, uh, recycled uh, and into the are the through the injection well and uh, there are the second liquid is the recycled through the turbine and back into the heat exchanger uh, where it can be used again and the geothermal uh, heat pump uh, basically this is the powering your home uh, with a geothermal heat pump always uh, you to harness and the temperature below the surface uh, of the uh, earth or heat or cool A structure, even though the uh, temperature above the wall ground uh, fluctuate, and during the season, uh, there are uh, the years and the temperature uh, below the surface remain constant below fifty degree uh, Fahrenheit to sixty degree Fahrenheit year round. And there are uh, the four type of pump. Uh, there are the uh, three closed uh, loop system and open loop system. Each open and the type of soil climate condition and the land available there are closed loop system uh, this is the closed loop uh, horizontally uh, system are most uh, cost effective for residential area for the large uh, commercial building and the closed loop vertically system more often used and this can uh, sometime go down 400 feet deep and closed loops uh, construct under this font or lake usually uh, the cheapest in the uh, next day in the uh, summer uh, the pipe drawn and the heat away from the building and it is uh, absorbed into the earth or water and since the fluid is already cool in the summer and warm then the air in the winter the heater uh, such as the type of ac system does not have to work nearly as hard an open loop system uh, in the open loop system and the water is uh, taken directly from the water source into the heat pump and where it uh, uh, then can either be recycled back into the same source of the pump into another water source and without uh, pouring and the only difference with the water going to uh, and out of slight change in the temperature although and this can be uh, cheaper uh, they also required a steady flow of water and capability to powering our home and these uh, four type of geothermal heat pump can be used all over the country due to the uh, constant um, constant temperature below the surface but they vary is the efficiency and the cost saving and uh, one of the big advantage of the future of geothermal energy is called the enhanced geothermal system EGS and traditionally geothermal power must be taken there geothermal reservoir exist which is the mainly in the western uh, united state in the fact of the world over world and the geothermal energy already uh, provides around 60% of the power along the northern california coastal according the us uh, department of energy and uh, you know uh, there underground to gain uh, there are the access to hot water and produce steam need to the power plant on the surface and since that uh, geothermal energy is a renewable natural resource and think of it like a gift from the earth and that keeps giving and although over time it's often necessary to drill additional well to 
maintain level of energy and production and the earth is uh, constantly giving of heat and that was the generated of an when our planet was formed a billion of years ago and the next time you see a geyser like the uh, old faithful in the Yellowstone park you know the national park the fairing hot steam and water high into the air and imagine the same power being used the generating electricity and uh, thank you must will watch my channel and must will uh, if you are uh, new uh, must will subscribe my channel and uh, click bell icon for uh, new notification thank you thank you to all